guys in this video what we're going to cover is boat racing in the crew 2 how to unlock different races access races find boat items and upgrade your boat so make sure you stay tuned so you can see all this action and get your boat racing up to the max this is big hawk and little colt let's get our game on let's go Hey guys, this is Big Hawk holding it down, and let's get into this boat racing. I mean, this is the crew too. The game's a little bit older, but we have been having a lot of views on our channel about the crew too, and the boat racing is on point, guys. I really, really like the boat racing because it's a lot different than any other race that you find on this game. And you know, most games don't even have boat racing, or maybe they exclusively just have boat racing, but. Just like this game, you know, you can use a boat, you can fly in the plane, and you can ride a motorcycle. Awesome choices, you know, in one game. I got a comment uh, about how to change the different views. I'm going to go over that real quick, then I'll get into the boat racing items. But to change the view and everything like that, you want to hit the right D-pad, and it'll keep zooming into different views. I mean, if you like the close person, like you're driving a boat or anything like that, like, man, I'm just hitting these waves, curling through the... Uh, through the water and everything like that or you want to do the kind of more third person that you can do a little bit further out and see obstacles coming and see what's going on around you but this is the view I like this is the one I usually use but let's get into these races so I'm gonna press the option key to press the op when you press the option key it'll take you to this main menu uh, you can go and look at your different vehicles, which we're going to get into in a little bit. I'm just using the D-pad. Now we're going to use the R2 button to scroll to the races. The races that I've been doing are the pro races. So uh, as you can tell right now, I'm 45% locking in those wins, those W's to get into the races. But to unlock these races, what you'll probably, probably have to do is do a freestyle race. I, mean, I did an aerobatic. Pretty much in the aerobatic, what you do is just do some extra little tricks or anything like that because you need to get your followers up to a certain tier to get access to first race you need 1,800 followers to get into the first race you know I already locked that in so let's get into that Ooh, this uh, straight river straight river race maybe this is called the river dance race <laughs> Okay, we are into the race. Let's go. Let's get into the race line. So anytime you start these races, you got to get to the race line, everything like that. You know, kind of line up, get ready to, you know, mop the crew or anybody ahead of you. So when we're doing these races and everything like that, you want to make sure you're holding down the down button on the on the digital dual shot. When you hold that down, you're able to hit that full speed. You see how that little, I guess, little dial um, or the rudder or whatever gets all the way down to the water so you can go a little bit faster. You see when I lift it up, and then it starts dropping in speed. I drop it all the way down. We can get to 160 or we have about 160, something along those lines. And you're able to hit a lot of speed and everything like that. So you hold it down. Then you hit the circle, you hit the circle, hit that boost, and blow past the competition. Another trick that I've noticed in everything uh, doing these races is try to avoid the jumps as much as possible. The jumps definitely decrease your speed because it'll drop you under 100 miles per hour or anything like that. So, you know, that definitely give the competition a way to catch back up to you. As I'm cruising through, uh, hopefully they have some jumps on here and everything like that. So I can show you how to avoid those. We got this, we're going through the buoys. We're gonna hit that little boost, that boost mobile and everything. So on this one, I would just definitely go around here like this, swerve like this. And anytime you're doing uh, another tip, guys, uh, anytime you're doing turns or anything like that, uh, let, let go of the uh, digital pad, just put it in a neutral position. You don't wanna hold it down because once you hold it down, uh, it's definitely harder to turn and everything. But like we said before, if you want to go max speed, kind of like it's at 150 and it's starting to drop, then I hit the D-pad down, 
then I can jump up to over 100 plus miles per hour. Then I hit that boost with it down to, ooh, 174? And so on this one, it's hard to avoid the jumps on some of them, guys. So if you want to get back to the track and anything like that, uh, you make a mistake, all you got to do is press the R1, R2 button. Kind of what I did before. Uh, that'll get you back um, to exactly where you started. So let's say you skip or you miss a checkpoint or anything like that. You just press the R1, R2, start you right back there. If it throws you behind the competition, uh, just think about it this way, that you can just go ahead and, you know, just finish out the race, kind of memorize the course, and just press the uh, triangle button, and then you can just redo the race. All right, so we just finished this one out. Get a first place. Uh, let's see if it throws out anything in the water. I know um, another tip I want to give you guys is uh, definitely start driving around after the races. And you see those little things that just popped up in the water? Just drive right over there, buddy. There, and you get your item. So I got uh, two parts in stock. So you want to go over the upgrades? Let's go over the upgrades because that's definitely one way uh, that you can upgrade your vehicle to get it faster. So we're going to hit the option key. Once you hit the option key, we're going to go back into the menu. So we're going to stay on the profile, guys. So uh, when you get back to the main menu, you see how it says news, catalog, profile, and activities. So you want to make sure you're in the profile. I'm scrolling back and forth so you guys can see we're in the profile. So let's go into our vehicle. So the vehicle that we're driving today is the boat. So we're going to jump in. So you see the items that are just flashing like that little white symbol or anything like that, that means we have upgrades available on those. So when you go over these different upgrades, so as we are on the 126, you can see it takes our vehicle to a 126 out of 250. The higher the number, the better caliber vehicle you will have uh, as far as boat. Uh, this is 138, which it boosts a little bit. So as you can see, uh, so if I upgrade it to the 126, I get plus one top speed I get plus eight plus eight power um, I don't get any zero to 60 speed 1.83 seconds uh, the quarter mile goes down three maybe because I'm adding something else I might be losing a little bit of longer speed or anything like that what I'm doing now I'm pressing the R2 uh, button and everything like that so it'll definitely break down so collectors 2.7 select bonus to inactive there we go. Collective bonus. No fixed equipment. Cool. So let's go ahead and add this one. Do we want to do the highest tier? What do you think, guys? Let us know in the comments if we should do the highest tier. Yeah, let's do the highest tier. Always doing the highest tier. You know how we do it over here. So let's go in here, see if there's anything in there. And there's nothing in there because it's not glowing. Ooh, I got these before. I forgot I had these. So these are definitely going to be the exhaust. Let's see, if we go to the highest one, we can get to a 131 out of 250. That'll give us a plus one uh, top speed. That'll give us plus 15 horsepower, but we'll lose zero to 60. It'll drop a little bit. Maybe because it's a little bit heavier. Ooh, do we just go with the 154? The 154, oh, that's what that is. So if you notice um, along the top guys, you see how it says like the little lightning bolts. That just probably means it enhances the turbo. That's what I'm thinking on that one. So this one gives you a plus 10 HP. This gives you a plus 15 HP. So on this one, we get a lot more gains, but in this one actually will cut off our uh, zero to 60 by 0 0.03. So let's add this one. All right, cool. So what is this one? This is the Pro Boat Propeller. Damn, look at all those upgrades that we have on this propeller. So we get plus one if we just go there, top speed and plus seven horsepower. If we go with this one, plus 14 power and we get a uh, plus two speed. And if we go all the way to the top, plus 19 power and plus two top speed. And we'll cut our zero to 60 by 0 0.04. Definitely got to get this one. Definitely got to get this one. Let's go. Let's see if we got anything else. I think. We have one in here that I didn't do. That's for the turbo. 
So for the turbo, this is the throttle and everything like that. So we get a top speed uh, plus one and we get the power plus six. So let's equip that. Let's head back to the, let's go head back to the gap where I get my start. If you know who that is, comment below. So we'll go back to activities. We're just hitting the R1 to get to the activities. Let's go to that pro racing. So I know I need to show you guys one more thing. So we had covered how to unlock uh, the different races. We covered uh, how to access the races. We covered how to boost your boat by getting items and driving around afterwards. And I have one more tip for you guys. Actually, two more tips. Actually, uh, one more bonus tip for you guys. All right, so let's go, let's go. So one bonus tip for you guys, uh, let's hit that X. So when you're doing the races and everything like that, you can see how it says change difficulty. So if you go to difficulty, you hold it, you hit the X button, so hard, obviously hard. If you do normal, which is normal. Um, when I first started playing this game, guys, I was definitely doing the uh, hard and I was getting blown out of the water. So. What you want to do is definitely uh, change uh, the difficulty to normal so that way you can kind of just boost up and everything like that. Make your races a little bit easier for yourself so you can get some first places in the books. Because once you get some of those first places, you'll get some of those items that we've seen at the end with the water uh, when they bounced up and then we added them to our vehicle. And then we were able to upgrade it. So let's get into this race and we're going to work on, you know, in a, a typical car, they would call it drifting. But in this one, you're just going to stay in somebody's wake and that'll help you uh, advance and get faster uh, to catch your competition. We are getting ready to race right now. Uh huh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let us know in the uh, comments if these have been very helpful. So we have the shot. Ooh, ooh, this thing is taking up way too fast, guys. So. I want to let a few of them get ahead of me so I can show you how to drift behind them. So what you really want to do if you want to catch them, um, I'm definitely going to have to work to get this race back on point. So I stand right behind his wake, right behind the one in the middle. If I stand right behind him right there like that in his little wake, then I can start hawking him. Also that helps you to focus on really um, driving straight. The straighter you drive and everything like that, help you to start hawking the uh, leader and everything so as I'm staying back there I hold my digital shock down you see how I'm starting to hawk him right there I wasn't even hitting any boost or anything like that so that's definitely a way that you can use that to hawk anybody Ooh, I'm just flying by these guys and everything see how I skipped that jump right there guys so I can still maintain a high speed as I'm going through there um, I'll get my boost built back up this area is a little bit harder right here, so you gotta lift off the gas, uh, let the D-pad go to the, not D-pad, but the uh, digital pad go to the neutral position. That way you can make your turns a lot easier. Uh, definitely doing that. This one is kind of hard to avoid a jump. You just have to hit that one, hit the folks on that one, and I'm hitting the boost to the finish line. And wow, I'm almost getting up to 180 miles per hour. So. That is definitely another way that you can use to win some more of these races, guys. So you want to drift behind them. You want to unlock your races. You want to definitely move the races from hard to uh, normal or easy, anything like that. You see, we still got these two little upgrades bouncing in the water for us. Bounce, 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 and everything like that. You want to go over the upgrades? I think I'll go over the upgrades right before I close this episode out. Let's, close. Let's get into these final upgrades, and then we're going to put a wrap to this video uh, i plan on having some more videos for you guys on different type of vehicles and how to upgrade those so make sure you stay tuned for that so we got an exhaust upgrade Ooh, what's this one gonna give us Ooh, plus four power mm, 2357 hp it's gonna cut our zero to 60 down by 0 0.03 our quarter mile off by 0 0.03 and a lateral g not sure what that stands for, but it sounds kind of cool. Ooh, so this one's for boost and something else. I'm not sure. So maybe our braking. Yeah, boost and braking. So this is going to put our boat at 140 class out of 250. 
It's gonna give us a plus one top speed. It's gonna give us plus six horsepower. Ooh, like we needed that. And a quarter mile, cut it down by 0 0.03. So we equipped that one. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We're gonna get into some more races and everything like that. Uh, with this um, boat, I mean, I really like the boat racing. That's kind of like my jam right now. I mean, I need to unlock uh, some more followers to get up to this one. I need 55,000, so I need 10,840, was that 44? Yeah, so I need 10,000 more followers and everything like that. So hopefully I have a video on getting these races, knocking those down. Maybe I might just do some hard. I mean, I'm out here killing like that, so I might as well do hard. So make sure you come back and see our progress as we give you more tips for the crew too. But if you guys haven't already, like Lil Code says, make sure you uppercut that like button. And let's go. Peace.